Hi everyone, in this video I will explain to you how to export EEG data in the frequency domain. So let's take a look. This is a different data set than I used before. This is a, a resting state EEG data set and it's children uh, that were four years of age and they were um, passively watching a video. So we call this the resting state eyes open task. Um, and it's continuous data for about three minutes. So uh, we have one participant here and all the rest of the participants over here. If you look at the analysis tree, it's a pretty uh, normal, straightforward analysis. Um, but after filtering, we used uh, the, uh, the fast Fourier transform. So let's look at that. So here you can see the frequency spectra. Um, and as you can see, this child has clear alpha peaks. So um, these peaks here are representing the alpha power peak. Um, and I only represented the F3 and F4 electrodes because this, in this example we're um, going to export F4 and F3 um, because a lot of people are exporting frequency power in children to uh, ultimately compute frontal alpha asymmetry and that's usually exporting um, the alpha peak at F3 and F4 or um, something similar like F, FP1, FP3. Um, and then exporting the alpha. So one thing that you can notice is that um, Brain Vision Analyzer on default presents you with these labels, but these labels are for adults. So um, as you can see here, the green area is labeled as alpha um, and it's over here, but um, the alpha peak of most children uh, and also this child um, and definitely of all infants is usually a lot earlier. So um, there's a lot of research and the conclusion is that for most uh, babies and young children, the alpha peak is between six and nine hertz. So this is also what we're going to use. So don't get uh, too distracted by the um, default labels that Brain Vision Analyzer provides you because for children, it will be different. Okay, so we saw that this participant has nice alpha peaks, so we want to export them. So for that, we go to export an inf uh, area ex information. So this is the same as in the previous video, but now we're not going to down, uh, export in the time domain, but we're going to export in the frequency domain. So it's already filled out. Uh, the frequency domain is between six and nine hertz, like I said, and the new node is called FFT. So that's where we're going to export from. And then, like last time, I'm only going to select this one participant. Otherwise, if I do all participants, it might take too long. Then I choose override default decimal symbol because um, in SPSS, I have a European version and then it can deal uh, easily with the um, decimal symbol um, instead of a comma. So um, I'm going to override it. It depends on your location and the version of SPSS that you have. Then I use voltage, uh, signed values, and I export the mean activity. Then we have to give it a good name. So let's call it uh, alpha and then um, six to nine hertz. Okay, so we're going to press okay, and then it's going to calculate for this participant the um, alpha values. Okay, and then you always get this operation log. I always recommend to uh, save this, especially if you're going to do a bunch of uh, batch exports. It will be helpful to keep this um, as a log um, to look back at. Okay, so then you go to your um, location where um, the export files are going and you can look at your data. So we only had one participant and I didn't specify anything about uh, the, the um, electrodes that we wanted to export. So it just exported all electrodes that I have. So you see the file name here and in every column there is alpha power exported for every um, electrode. If you do this for um, everyone, so um, the way you really want to have this, it will look something like this. Um, so you have here all the participants uh, in a different row and in the different columns you only have F3 and F4 average. Okay, so in the next video I will discuss how to go from this type of file to your SPSS file.